The order in which you carry out the reactions is very important because that's going to determine whether you get the ortho para or the meta substituted ring. In this case, we have two benzene rings. They're attached by a carbonyl. This is benzophenone, by the way. And it doesn't make a difference which ring you actually brominate, but the carbonyl is a deactivating group, and deactivators are meta directors. So it's pointing to the meta positions. Both meta positions are equivalent, so it doesn't make a difference where we put it. And we could have put the bromine on the ring that was on the left side. I'm just going to pick the right side for it. Once you actually put the bromine on one of the rings, now this ring has two deactivating groups on, and this ring has only one deactivating group attached to it. So a next reaction would actually have this ring as the most active of the two. So now I have two possible reactions we're going to do with this. This is the Wolf-Kishner reaction. And the Wolf-Kishner reaction is going to do the reduction of the carbonyl. It's going to reduce the carbonyl to a methylene group. Nothing else is going to happen to it. But we have reduced completely the carbonyl to a methylene. And if you actually do a second addition to the ring, this group right here has one deactivating group on. This is an activator, but they both share the activator. This group has an activator on and nothing else. So this ring is more active. And that carbon group is ortho para, so it's pointing to the ortho and to the para positions. I'm going to put it para because the ortho positions are a little bit sterically hindered. So it's going to go on the ring that's on the left side. And here we go. We're going to put it right here. If we go back to the carbonyl compound and now we do a nitration first, the nitro group again is going to go on the benzene ring that's on the left because this benzene ring on the left has only one deactivating group on. This one on the right has two deactivating groups on. So the ring on the, on the left is going to be more active. So we're going to add the nitro group, but if you notice, the carbonyl is the deactivating group, so the nitro group is going to go on the meta position on the ring on the left. So we have a nitro on the meta position on the left ring and a bromine on the meta position on the right ring. And now we do the Wolf-Kishner reaction. And Again, we're going to just reduce the carbonyl all the way down to the methylene, the CH2. But we get completely different products. This one has a nitro para. This one has the nitro on the meta position. So watching the order in which you do the reactions is very important because it may lead you to completely different products.